so inline support for attachments I'm guessing yeah this is uh, just because you can view um, images it's a thumbnail that's automatically yeah. generated on the fly and then uh, let me check what's more you see another if you go you can see the it shows you your schedule on that your day schedule on the okay. All right. This is because the zoom lets, okay? Then, uh, if you want to see another kind of integration, right? in this case, you have the possibility, you are just uh, checking for uh, flights. British Airways, absolutely. Schedule. Let me, okay, just let me. Because uh, in this case, you have the possibility to see the schedule of that specific flight. Nice, if very it's nice. Or not. Very nice. And what's more, that's, uh, is this available as a simply as a hosted service, or can you actually have your own Zimbra servers in house as well? You can, you can, you can, you, you can, can deploy uh, the specific Zimlet on your on-premise deployment. Okay. Got it. Because we provide you something like that, more than ten Zimlet already out of the box. You have just to configure. Got it. And for instance, the date. If you have to change something, because um, of of course we provide you the. Recognition of uh, English dates, but right. if you are speaking another language, you have just to, just to update a little bit to the make sense. piece of stuff. Okay. In that case, you can recognize also French dates or whatever. Arabic dates German. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely makes sense. Now, what's more? Uh, so, 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 um, so we from Zipper, we are not offering a hosted solution ourselves. Okay. But we're working with uh, with local partners that, that are offering the, the hosted solutions. Got it. Um, we offer the uh, the license then for for a company also to deploy and turn in in their own data centers. All right. Um, then you have the possibility to see attachments, document, Word format, Excel, or PDF directly without downloading right. the attachments. So view right. HTML. Right. And you can see the content of, uh, yes. of the attachment. So of course, everything is uh, drag and drop, so okay. you can. Uh, now, I mean, so it's AJAX interface basically? Yeah, this yeah. is uh, right. because when you are connecting to the web interface, mm -hmm. you have the possibility to choose which kind of interface you're going to use. The advanced Got it. AJAX is the Got default, it. Got it. so web 2.0. Okay. Then, if you have a very, very low connection, you can simply use the standard HTML and then if you are your using mobile. your mobile phone you can also uh, with the embedded browser coming with your mobile phone you can okay. have uh, let's say another interface that is stripped a little bit just because uh, right. maybe on the mobile phone you don't have the possibility Absolutely. to see Absolutely. what you um, would like to see and it syncs with um, everything out there like Microsoft Outlook or yeah you we know. have a connector for you Microsoft have connectors Outlook. Okay. Just in case you want to exploit all the features that you would have if right. on the other side of the backend server we are running Exchange Server. Right. If you want to have the same features in terms of sharing, uh, in right. terms of collaboration, you have to install uh, to have the MAPI connector, Zimbra MAPI sure. connector for Outlook in order to have all these features exploited okay. through the Outlook okay. interface. And what about like a BlackBerry Enterprise Server? Can uh, In that case, we have another connector. You Zimbra have a connector available for BlackBerry yes. because cool. uh, of course, you have still to use your BlackBerry Enterprise of course, Server. Of course, and that it connects to the Zimbra. To the Ring network. Right. And then, okay, uh, the piece of the, this piece of stuff of uh, RIM, BlackBerry Enterprise Server, right. is talking with the Zimbra server by the means of the Zimbra connector for BlackBerry. Sure, makes sense. And okay. we support Active Sync, Windows Mobile. Yeah, then uh, Active Sync is something okay. that uh, is available so got all in almost all the mobile okay. phones. So I guess if Active Sync is real, yeah, even your iPhone, I'm guessing, would probably sync. Yeah. I think yeah, it also supports iPhone. Active Sync, right? Uh, and with regards to uh, exchange interrupt, it's really important for us to win the larger enterprises because the larger enterprises are typically running uh, exchange. Yes, absolutely. And in order for them to start using Simpler, they can start you know, with a small test installation and then gradually put right. more and more people over on to uh, Simpler. Sure, yeah, absolutely. It's been very successful absolutely. to interact with Active Directory because mm -hmm. even the authentication, if you want, you can uh, set up the Simpler collaboration mm -hmm. server to have a look up to the Microsoft Active Directory Very because nice. a lot of enterprises want to stay with a mixed environment. Of course. 
of course. exchange yes. and the same product. Okay. Uh, we provide also the possibility to interoperate with uh, exchange for a freebies in the company. Okay. Uh, compared to exchange, I mean, how do the price levels compare to exchange per seat, basically, if you were to? Ah, the price. Uh, the price, typically the, uh, the license price from us is about half. Half of, of what exchange would be, okay. and we use between one third and one half of the hardware that exchange uses. So the TCO is is much better. Okay. The simple. All right. I know that. Uh, I mean, I used Google Premier apps for a comparison with Exchange some time back. Now right. the biggest disadvantage is that it's a hosted solution, so yes. companies that are quite secure about their data don't necessarily feel. But one thing I liked about um, Google Premier apps was the option to do an offline syncing within the web interface. Right. I think they were doing it through uh, Google Gears, if I believe correctly. Yeah. So is there a possibility of having that? So for example, using a dedicated email client like Outlook, can we just have the Dota data stored locally? Yeah, what, what, uh, what you can do with Simpra is you can of course use Outlook as your client right. if you want to. Right. But we have come out with a Simpra desktop, okay. which is uh, much stronger than Outlook. And it has got exactly the same user interface as our web client. Alrighty. So it, it gives you online, offline um, Very nice. things. So you can take all the data with you. Very nice. And also if you compare with our Google, um, we allow you to take all your data with you on, onto the road, okay. whereas Google only allows you to take a subset of your data with you on the road, which allows right. you to take everything This can you. take as, as big of a... Everything, yeah, there's no limitation there. Got it. Uh, this one is the offline This version. is the desktop version. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, the look and feel is the same. Almost, yeah. yeah. Almost and, you, and you can also go to our website and then download desktop and use desktop together with another uh, email backend. Sure. So people can try Simple without having a Simple server installed. Okay. Uh, and, okay. and really that way so our desktop becomes the first real um, Outlook replacement. Got it. Does it support just uh, IMAP and POP3 or does it also do... It also supports uh, Gmail and uh, Yahoo Mail and, and okay. other mail services. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's a tab here. If you, this is the desktop. Okay. Add a new account. Okay. You can select the type of the account. So all Got the possible it. options. Not just uh, having on the back end the Zimbra server that right. is running. So right. But uh, Yahoo Mail, Gmail and the, any, other, any other standard IMAP and POP3 sure. server. Of course. And then we are planning with the version 2.0 of the desktop to have the possibility to configure um, an exchange account. But through IMAP. Because, yeah, now it's only possible through IMAP. Right. In the next version, it's possible not just through IMAP, just in case you want to synchronize also yes. the contact. Exactly. Uh, so exactly. Something close, okay. But through really active sync, hopefully. The, uh, yeah. Okay. Because currently we can just uh, that would be a good idea. Via that would be a good idea. Yes. And Zimbra desktop is available on all platforms: Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Windows. Mac OS, and yeah. uh, Windows. Okay. okay. Linux not yet. Yes. Linux as well. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, yeah. You have just to go to the download one page. All right. Is Yahoo using or planning on using Zimbra as the backend for all their webmail anytime in the future? Because I mean, obviously, it's not part of the Yahoo group. Yeah, probably not so not all of it, but the, but uh, Yahoo is using some of our technology uh, okay. for the calendar, for example. Right. And I think some Amber's book technology. Okay. Um, but the intention is that the Zimbra will be the most feature-rich offering from from Yahoo. Okay. What's also important about Zimbra is that we are a white label solution. Right. That means the customers can roll out Zimbra under their own brand, so Correct. they do not need to call them Simbra or Yahoo. Got it. And that's quite important compared with Microsoft and Google where companies right. cannot change the brands. Here they can use their own brands. So as you can see, the Simbra has to download Windows, Mac and Linux. It's very important. Great. Just go to the website and download.